You know, when I first started doing environmental education, what I really learned from my students was that I had to find the hook. I had to find what was going to intrigue them, what would energize them to want to do the kind of work and the learning to the depth that I wanted them to get to. What I understood from the students was they needed the technology. Our teenage television show is called The Green Screen and our teenage crew is from 13 to 19 years old and we've been documenting the work that's happening on the Richmond Greenway which is a long linear parkway, the old rails to trails, the old railroad track that's been converted into a parkway through the city of Richmond. We've created some Google Maps using these photos and, and some embedded videos as well that where you can watch the beginning from the opening day you can see a small video clip of the um, essentially the ribbon cutting you can see the work happening you can see the children riding their bikes and and playing along the greenway you can see the wheelbarrows coming in and the um, and the dirt being put into place these kind of authentic learning projects let kids actually engage their life in the learning um, so that it's not disembodied from their experiences. That, I would say, is huge. When they understand that everything that they do is part of a knowledge base that will serve them as they move forward. Having access to the technology and really feeling like, oh, we really are a part of how the world is changing. We're part of the creative force behind what's going on in the world. It's about community. The green team is out in the community. It's about environment and sustainability. MLI comes in and they bring in mobile learning, which is fabulous. So it means that all that you're doing, you can document because you have the devices and you have the training around that. And then KQED comes in as a community media partner. So we're able to help with distribution. We're able to help with training. We're able to look forward to what these kids can be doing as media makers and engaged, informed citizens in the future, which is really a KQED mission. And I'm sure it's also the mission for MLI and for the Green Team. You know, it's always easy to come up with the questions and to be curious and say, oh, this is what I want to know and this is what I want to do and to get the idea this is a wonderful project we could do. But sometimes it's a little harder to get the tools in your hand and to find the right expert to talk to, to get all the information you need. And what's been wonderful about this project is that KQED and MLI offered. And they said, here are the people, here are the tools, let us help you, and I'm celebrating all that. The absolute funnest part of this project was having cool gadgets in your hands, working with kids that were totally enthusiastic, and adults who thought like you did, and being outside in the beautiful weather. What's been important for me is that the students use this new technology to help them find their place in their community. They're recognizing that not only do they have a voice, but it's an important voice and people want to hear it. 